The question I get asked the most frequently about breathing is this. Isn't breathing through the mouth bad for you? And my answer to that question is, the question doesn't even make sense. The concept doesn't make sense if you watch a human being's behavior through one day. Let me give you some great examples. Whenever you do anything aerobic, let's say you're running or going, uh, walking quickly up a steep hill, at some point you get winded, we call it in America, and you start breathing through the mouth. Your mouth opens and you can start seeing the chest moving because the chest is designed to expand and contract uh, when you need more air. So, need more air, mouth opens. A woman giving birth, opens the mouth. People making love, mouth open. Laughing, mouth open. And speaking like I'm doing right now, I take these little sips of air with my mouth open as I speak. You'll never see a speaker or a newscaster say a sentence, stop, and go, and continue. It's too long. So we take these little sips through the mouth as we speak. Everyone does this. And with regard to breathing exercises, breathing patterns, we teach some with the mouth open, some with the mouth closed. It depends on why you want to do it and what you hope to achieve. So we use both, they're both great. And if we need to breathe faster and deeper, we open the mouth. It does not harm you and it does not trigger fight or flight. When I teach breathing exercises to people, sometimes through the mouth, they go, go into a deep state of relaxation, which you can witness and which they will um, speak about with great um, shock sometimes at how relaxed they become. Singing also through the mouth, the exhale anyway, and usually the inhale, quick inhale to continue singing, deeply relaxing. Singing Om in yoga or Ah, same thing. So once you start realizing all of the activities that we do with the mouth open and how many of them are extraordinarily relaxing, we start realizing that the question itself is questionable. So let's not live in a binary world of zeros and ones. And when we look at breath work, let's not try to categorize it as good and bad and realize that sometimes we use this technique, sometimes we use that technique, and they can both be extremely useful depending on what you want to do and why you want to do it. Thank you.